one of the first screenings of Zac Efron's new film, Charlie St. Cloud. He's gone from musical comedy to romantic drama, next up is an action thriller. He's got it all going on. Let's go find out what the fans think. It wasn't what I expected. It was quite sad, more deeper than I thought as well. It was a bit gobsmacked, to be honest. It was a bit, kind of, got you right there. Without ruining the film, it wasn't the usual someone's died and someone's grieving. It was, they were still in his life, so. It was, it was really good. I thought Zac Efron was an um, amazing actor. It was a lot better than what we were yeah. expecting. We, we I mean, we, we did a bit of research on the film, we saw a bit of reviews. And all uh, the initial research showed that the so movie harsh. was quite... Yeah, it was quite harsh. We looked at some quite prestigious reviews. Yeah. And we it totally, it totally blew us away. It was yeah. completely different to what we expected. <laughs> we actually were like, oh, come on, let's just watch it, let's just do it. And we watched it like, oh my gosh, those people it are so mean! It was much better than what we yeah, we actually really loved it. We want to go watch it again when it comes out. We're definitely going to go watch it again. Like, we've got posters. <laughs> I'll make a deal with you. I'll practice with you every day up until I leave for Stanford. If you want to drop the glove in now. Okay. You're late. I thought we had a deal. We do have a deal. Promise? I love Zac Efron. I'm not a great fan of High School Musical, but I just thought these movies, the, this movie was good, and Seventeen again I really liked, so I just wanted to see a different side of him, and he definitely brought that across. So. It was really good, actually. It's actually the first Zac Efron film I've seen, so I was impressed. I liked him in High School Musical. It was really great at that, but I was, I was also really surprised at um, how good he was in this film as well. It was really, really good, because it's so different to High School Musical, but he did really well. I thought he was really good, like he was quite convincing. And that we he's so used to upbeat movies like High School Musical, and then he had to go play on a role like this. We wondered how he would cope with the genre change, yeah. and he proved it to do quite he well. Did. He actually did really, really well. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Every evening, I play catch with my dead brother. Today's the day. I learn how to throw a fighter. You're so far good it was done really kind of delicately and yeah it didn't it wasn't too kind of rough you know it was done well I think director. the public have got to when it comes out I think you've got to be quite open-minded about yeah. it and realize that it doesn't address it um, totally on the surface it deals with quite a lot of issues in the subtext as well so I think as long as people come into the movie open-minded like we did yeah we'll be fine get the reviews they just do mean not look horrible the lies do not look at the reviews I think they did it in a clever way I think young kids could maybe watch it and maybe not realize and it won't freak them out it's not scary like that it's just kind of a nice way of talking about death it wasn't really stuffy either it was quite like i think he dealt with the character really well and like there was a lot of um chemistry between the, like the brothers as well it's quite touching it's amazing how they've done they put it off they did the both brothers seem to be actual brothers so it's an amazing chemistry but also in his love interest as well it yeah. shows just how well it was put together. It still sort of feels like a family. They, they were all really very nice together. They were all comfortable working with each other. Yeah. You could it was really that. cute. I loved it. It was amazing. That girl's gonna show around the world. You like her. I can what? tell. You like the sailor girl. I can do this. Hey! Would you please have dinner with me tonight? You a good cook? Excellent. Well, you have to make her pizza. <laughs> what? Pizza's delicious. It brought a taste to my eye. It did, was yeah. sad, yeah. I cried a lot. It was really, really sad, yeah. I didn't cry, but it was quite sad. Yeah, it was quite emotional. Yeah. I cried. cried. I cried. We he cried. came out. It was really we sad. Cried. It was such a good movie. It was so. It had its cliches, but it was so original at the same time. Yeah. You couldn't help but shed tears to it. It was and amazing. I, and it was just like, oh, oh, like everything. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, a week. I wish you could come with me. I just can't. You just can't. I can see Sam, Tess. The more I'm in your world, the less I can be in his. Amazing, quite moving. Emotional. Sad, but good. <laughs> Amazing. It's so, you know, it just, it, I actually felt moved when I came out. I was like, oh, I'd watch it again. Refreshing, different, yeah. an all rounder. I think it covers so many genres. It's for everyone to see. We've got a boat missing out of Quincy Harbor. Whose boat? That's Carol's boat. You have to go, Charlie. 
I'm going to find Tess. And four. Four? I think four as well. Uh, four and a half. <laughs> um, about three. Yeah, I agree. Three. Three out. Three and a half. Three. Three, three and a half? Oh, no, no, I'd give it a four. I'd give it three, three and a half. I'd give it four. Just lie, Charlie. Trust your heart, Charlie Sinclair. This is why I was given a second chance. We'll always be brothers.